If you're thinking about coming to Beijing or any major city in China, I really, really recommend you pick up one of these. A very sexy breathing mask. Uh, yeah, they don't look cool, but that's really not the important part. Uh, the WHO uh, says PM 2.5, which is a, a dangerous polluting particle, uh, maximum limits should be around 25. And I've lived in Beijing for about three months now, and we've had a few hours in that three months where it has been below 25. Averages around 100. Uh, yesterday we were over 600. And for the past month, we average at 180 to 250. Uh, so really, anytime you go outside, uh, if you're young, uh, if you're strong, anything. Uh, I don't care who you are. Everyone needs to be wearing these. Uh, you can buy these at pretty much any pharmacy uh, uh, or sporting goods store. Uh, I had, when I first got here, I started with the 3M brand. And, and these are pretty fine. And, and I recently, at a sporting goods store, came over across this Aptonia brand. And I, I decided to give them a try because they had different sizes. You can see the large there. Uh, medium, small. Um, and the large honestly seems to be exactly the same as the, whatever you normally get in a 3M. Uh, the most important thing to find here is uh, in the newspapers, you see a lot of people wearing masks that are uh, a blue Looks like a, a someone like a dentist, uh, a dental hygienist would wear like a blue mask. Uh, that isn't going to work. Uh, that does that does nothing. Uh, what you need is something that actually conforms to your face and blocks airflow. All right, you want to be breathing through this, not through the gap on the side of your face from the filter. What you want to see is PM two point five. That's the most important thing. Uh, and then these masks, especially the 3M masks, come in two different forms, right? There's a 95, I think you can see here, a 95 and a 90. So a 95 will block, if you're using it correctly, supposedly 95% of the pollutants of the particles. Uh, and the 90 obviously block 90% of the particles, but the price is almost the same. So why even mess with the 90? I, I mean, wh when the pollution's at 500, 10% is still a lot. You know, 10% is still two times the WHO's recommended uh, levels. Um, now, some of these masks have a valve here. This is a blow-off valve, uh, which is supposedly to help with heat release and moisture and everything. And you will get kind of water kind of built up in here. And it's not great. Uh, but it's better than the side effects, okay? Uh, one thing I really like about these newer masks, some of these masks, right when I got here, they did not have this little, the ones I had bought, did not have this little gray, gray line. And that's really nice. It creates a good seal right up on your nose. Uh, if you have glasses and you're saying, oh, I don't want to use this, my glasses will fog up. Um, I I think this will help you a lot. I don't have glasses, and I, so I, I haven't tested them out yet. Uh what will happen to you if you do not use a mask on a super high, high polluting day? Well, you can expect to cough more, a lot of bile and phlegm in your throat, uh, difficulty uh, breathing, uh, uh, your, your heart rate, your resting heart rate will probably go up, uh, sneezing more. Uh, there's been a lot of just general discomfort. You can buy them individually. I'm sorry, I forgot the prices exactly. Um, I think a three or five pack of these were about five dollars, maybe around 25 or 35 RMB, uh, 25 Kwai. Uh, if you're going to be here for more than a week, or you're here with a friend, uh, you might as well just get a multi-pack and split it somehow. Um, there is a little bit of savings generally when you buy more than one. Uh, a few of these have the blow-off valve, and some do not. Um, I'm not really convinced that the blow-off valve really helps at all. Uh, it is dangerous if that the seal isn't working. That's a great way for air to come in. Uh, so I'd be kind of inclined to, to buy one without this. Uh, but if it's in the summer and if it's really hot, uh, then maybe, maybe this will make a bigger difference. It's been relatively cool the whole time I've been here. Uh, and pretty chilly. We have snow on the ground right now. So... Instead of wrapping your face in a scarf, it's actually really great just to put this on because your lips don't get chapped, uh, your nose stays warm. Yeah, I mean you can just recirculate. 
that heat around, so the cold isn't nearly as terrible outside. So, all right, you're coming to Beijing, Shanghai, any city in China, likely. Uh, Google AQI and go to that website that comes up, one of the top hits, uh, and type in your city and take a look. It changes every hour. You never know what's going to happen, but I guarantee you, if you're here for more than 10 minutes outside, you're going to wish you had this. All right, good luck, everybody.